This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in Chesterville County. Today, we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. This home is situated here in a gorgeous subdivision. You can see directly across the street, we have some nice big brick homes. Uh, we've got nice large lots. Uh, the subject property is sitting on about three and a half acres. So we've got a really nice private location here. This is a former model home and we have a side entry garage. Uh, love the stately statement of those massive columns there in the front. Someone asked me just a few days ago to bring them a big boy home and that's what I did. Just yesterday I had the privilege of watching the Super Bowl. Of course, so did many of the other inhabitants of America and the world for that matter and uh, was looking this morning at the self-appointed Facebook music critics and uh, it just kind of made me smile. Um, one thing to uh, remember is even if her genre of music was not your favorite, uh, you've got to admit uh, someone that's invited to the Super Bowl is definitely at the top of their game in a very competitive industry. Uh, she is a 34 year old billionaire uh, that performed over a hundred feet in the air. Uh, she did over 10 songs and did all of this while in her second trimester. Uh, moms are heroes, expecting moms are superheroes. So uh, you gotta give her credit for that. And of course, if you haven't figured it out, I'm talking about Rihanna. One of the other things that uh, got me thinking was in regards to a football team, of course, uh, they're the players and the coaching staff and the support staff, uh, but how important coaching is. And there's a huge correlation between coaching and being a real estate agent. And let me explain a little bit further. One of the main functions of a coach is to look, analyze statistical data, and figure out how to make the best decisions for the organization. Uh, and there is a, a correlation because one of the things that we do in real estate is we look at historical data and that drives market value in particular. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of information that's collected from each and every home sale. Uh, when I look back at a recent listing that I had, I looked, I looked back at it and I, I realized that we got multiple offers, but the winning offer uh, the buyers paid 17000 more than they had to for that home, and, and this is why. They made an offer that was $17,000 higher than the next best offer, and that was basically throwing money away. The next best offer would have been acceptable to my seller, uh, and I say this to share that all agents are not created equal, number one. Number two, negotiation and smart contract structuring is something that you learn with experience and with training and just because someone has a real estate license doesn't necessarily mean they're proficient at negotiation or strategy in this matter uh, when it comes to making solid offers that benefit the buyer of course my seller is thrilled to death she's getting much more money than she would have if they would not have done that so i just wanted to share uh, that it's more than just writing up a contract, figuring up a purchase price, and then sending it to the other side. A lot of thought and analysis should go into making good, strong offers, both on the buying side and on the listing side, you gotta make smart decision as well, based on the data. Okay, here on the exterior, we can see we've got a gorgeous brick front. This home, of course, is a model home, which means very gently used. And the other very unusual thing about this home is that all of the furniture will convey. Normally, furniture is considered personal property and does not convey. Sometimes a seller will offer it for sale, but rarely is it included in the purchase price. Okay, you can see we've got a really good looking front yard, not too much grass to maintain. And let's go on in and take a look. Be sure to stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna do a giveaway here at the end of the video. So you wanna make sure you stay tuned and uh, who knows, you may be a lucky winner. Okay, here to the left, we can see we have an absolutely gorgeous formal dining room. All of these details on the wall, these are all upgrades. Uh, all of this is 
simply something that a builder would normally charge extra for, especially our detailed ceiling. This home, of course, is completely painted. That's an other upcharge that you typically would have. When new homes are offered for sale, guess what color you get? You got it, you got white. They are not gonna go in typically and do custom colors. If they do, then you are gonna pay significantly for that. Builders do not want to get into that level of uh, decorating on new construction. Okay, you can see here on the floor, we've got wood here, not only in this space, but also through the foyer and our formal living room uh, picks up on the other side. I'm gonna take you over there. I love this floor plan because we have a combination both a formal and informal space. And that's hard to do unless an architect has the ability to allocate the space. And they did that very effectively here. Obviously they've got a lot more space to work with, but it's very hard to do it in a smaller home and still have room sizes that make sense. So you get the best of both worlds here in this beautiful home. Here to the left, this is going to be a little storage closet. This is gonna be under stair storage so we've got some space in there uh, they put some of the connections uh, there for our wiring and our powder room this is going to be convenient here on the first floor next to the foyer so we got a little pedestal sink the wallpaper typically something you would never see in new construction and uh, a lot of people are, are kind of nervous about wallpaper because uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, change it out, um, obviously it takes a little bit of labor, but if you love it, then that's a beautiful thing. And it's one less thing to have to do and pay for uh, in the home. Directly to the rear is going to be our dinette. And of course, our family room here to the right. We've got a wood, excuse me, a gas log fireplace is going to be our focal point and plenty of space here on either side of this room. You can see how they've laid out the floor plan. And we've got uh, just a lot of space in addition to very big furniture. Uh, so this is definitely not a cramped space whatsoever. Back here, we've got a chair with a coffee table, some additional space over here. I just love what they did here with this setup. Okay, directly ahead into our informal dining space. Got plenty of light that flows in here through the rear. All of our window treatments, uh, as I mentioned, do convey. Let's pop back here on the deck and see what we have. Okay, our deck is in great condition. Uh, this backyard here uh, backs up to an environmental protection area. There's a little sign, as you might be able to see if you've got good eyes, right there in the middle of the frame. That means no one's gonna build anything uh, right here behind you. So you've got good privacy uh, and it will remain that way. This home is on septic system. That's our little cover right there in the middle of the frame. And of course, a door going into our garage uh, there on the rear. Our rear is gonna be low maintenance vinyl, which of course is all in excellent condition. All right, let's go back in and take a look at our gorgeous kitchen. All right, directly ahead is going to be our homework nook. And that has, of course, the granite excuse me, that's a quartz countertop, 42 inch cabinets. Junior can sit there and struggle with algebra or learn the reproductive habits of an amoeba right there here in the convenience of the beautiful kitchen. Our wall oven, stainless steel whirlpool, and of course our expansive countertop, double bowl sink, looks really good. We've got the glass front cabinet there in the corner. Stainless whirlpool, Microwave, I love that you gave us a nice clean surface there uh, with our cooktop. So there's no buttons, nothing that's gonna be difficult at all to clean. Our kitchen does have ceramic tile, plenty of additional cabinets here in this island. You can fit probably, well, you probably get about seven or so uh, seats there at that island. Our Whirlpool refrigerator with ice and water in the door and uh, just a really nicely appointed kitchen. We're going to go first down the hallway and then we're gonna come back and look at our pantry space here uh, for this kitchen. Here to the left, this is a dedicated home office. And what makes this unique is all of this 
bookcase here would be upgrades. This is normally something a builder is not going to include in a purchase price and it actually would be pretty pricey if they did. So we've got some gorgeous work here. Look at this gorgeous detail uh, that we have here in this trim work. This space, of course, uh, has its own window there, good natural light. And if somebody wanted to repurpose this room, of course they could do so, uh, but it just gives you that much more flexibility here on the first floor. Um, this hallway directly across also gives us a full bath. So if you had the need to make that a guest room, if let's say someone had mobility challenges, you could make that a guest room and then your guests would not have to go up and down stairs. And this is gonna be a fiberglass tub shower area. Uh, we do have a vanity that's in place there. So they'd have a little storage. And of course we've got some natural light here with the window. All right, since this was a model home, they outfitted the garage. This is gonna be a two plus car garage. They outfitted this as a sales center and we do have that pedestrian door, wood floors. Uh, I do believe that the county, in many cases, is going to make uh, the builder convert this back to garage space. I need to confirm that. But I do know in some counties, they will mandate uh, that all the homes have to have garages. And the county, believe it or not, has a certain amount of say in the design of a subdivision. I didn't know that until I got into real estate. So they actually can dictate things such as the siding type, the style of home, the size of the home, uh, the county has a lot more to say in the design of a subdivision than most people would ever imagine. You can see this is a very big garage, and so you could definitely do a lot with this space. If it were allowed to be converted to finished space or kept as finished space, this would be a great in-law suite. You could do a lot with this space here as an in-law suite. Remember, you've already got a bathroom that's really close there in that hallway. So you've got the doors right here. There would be no threshold whatsoever to get into the uh, space, but of course you just have three steps going up to get into the uh, rest of the home and the bathroom space. So uh, you could easily put a ramp there. Uh, very good design here on this space. This is going to be our heating and air closet. This home is two zone. That's gonna be a gas water heater. And this is going to be a gas furnace uh, as well. Special thanks to Linwood Cousins listing agent who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at this beautiful home. As we go back into the kitchen here, directly ahead is going to be pantry number one. This is going to be the small pantry and we've got some storage space there. Pantry number two is the big one. And look at that. We've got a full complement of what about five shelves there. So plenty of storage space. You could actually put uh, some additional shelving or cabinetry on that wall if you desired. Um, those boxes, by the way, are dummy boxes. Uh, the food items do not convey. However, we could get those paper towels included in the sale for you. Okay, we have area here. This would be great for a bar space. If you wanted to put adult beverages here, remember you've got the dining room right there. So this would be a great prep space here uh, if you were entertaining guests and uh, just a really good functional layout. All right, we're gonna go upstairs and take a look here on the second level. Uh, notice we've got these beautiful wood stairs that take us up. Here to the right is going to be our primary bedroom. And we're gonna start actually on the left side. And I'm gonna make a hard left here. This is gonna take us into bedroom number one. Now all of these bedrooms are really good size. I'm gonna make sure I hit every single one of them. You guys know I have a reputation for skipping some bedrooms. We're gonna hit every one of these. I'm not gonna open every closet. These are gonna be standard depth closets. So they're gonna be good size closets. Directly ahead is our bathroom. Now, this full bath, we've got a double vanity and we've got a door that takes us right to the hallway so we can come through and our fiberglass tub shower directly ahead. So in theory, you could lock that door and then someone coming from the hall or the other secondary bedrooms could come through and then access that bathroom. So that's a really good design. Going into our second 
bedroom is going to be right here. Once again, really good space. Look at all this furniture that will convey everything on the wall, uh, all of the furniture, everything. Window treatments stays. All right, that was bedroom number two. I'm going to go back down the hall and this one is set up actually as a nursery. And once again, great space. Look at the detail here on this wall. This one, of course, is set up for a small child, but I imagine, yeah, you could just pop Leo the lion off and then it becomes suitable for uh, your 35 year old that failed the launch. Very good space. You might want to change that color out too. He may not like that lime green, but hey, if he's staying for free, he shouldn't have a whole lot of things to complain about. All right, directly here to the left, this is a small storage room. This could be toy storage. Uh, this could be additional linen storage, uh, all types of options there. Our traditional linen storage is right here on the other side of the hallway. And then we have a dedicated laundry room. Now your washer and dryer will go right there. We've got ceramic tile and we've got some storage overhead. You could probably configure this to put in a folding table if you wanted to and uh, just make it that more more functional. All right, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. This is our bonus room. Now, if you remember, we had that large two car plus two plus car garage downstairs. So this is our bonus room over that space. Now, the thing I love about it is you just have so much space to work with, but then you also have this nook. If somebody needed to, they could put a door here and now this turns into a whole separate space. So you could have dual cave space. I just thought about that. You could have one person could have the main cave and then you could have a sub cave here with this space here. So that's a really neat idea. And uh, both, both people in the, um, both cave dwellers could be content and happy. Uh, wow, just so much versatility in this beautiful plan. All right, we're gonna go back down to our primary bedroom. And here we are. Wow, look at this. Look at that ceiling, ladies and gentlemen, tray ceiling with detail in it. Uh, we've got the custom colors, custom paint. Uh, this is a king size bed and you still have a huge amount of space on either side of that bed. Plenty of light flows in. You've got windows on the front and the sides. We're up here nice and high looking out over this beautiful estate. All right, but it doesn't end here. Let me take you in and take a look at this beautiful walk-in closet. This home, all you need to do is pack up your food, pack up your clothes, and move in. Um, all the furniture is here. Uh, bring some linen with you, and boom, you can move in. So if you guys are coming from up north, you can cut down on that moving expense. Remember, if you're relocating from New York, you're coming down here, I pay for your tolls. And uh, so you wouldn't even have that to worry about. All right, our linen closet here inside the primary bath. Notice we have the two level vanity top with the bench there, makeup bench. Ceramic tile here in this floor. We also have a jetted tub here in the corner. Look at that wall. There's all types of decorating. It's already been done, professional decorating. Uh, that's already been done for you. Fiberglass shower enclosure. Good looking water head, wa uh, shower head there. And our water closet is right here. This is a, actually a large water closet with a window. So you know you're doing pretty good when you have a window with window treatments inside of your water closet. That's not something you see typically every day. So they went all out on this gorgeous home. Okay, I said I was gonna do a giveaway. And so what I'm gonna do is, uh, if you are an expecting mom in your second or third trimester, shoot me a text message. And uh, we got something special for you. This is if you live in Central Virginia area, uh, this offer is for you. If you're not in my area, I still love you. And uh, we can still help you, but uh, not for this giveaway. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I'm working on the webinar, so that should be coming out here in several weeks. I'll be sure to post plenty of information. 
I'm going to bring one of the best lenders in Central Virginia as far as first time buyers to the webinar. And uh, there is some good free money, free money out there for first time buyers. And I'm going to bring it to you. Max Williams, 804-402-778. I can reach on Facebook under Richard Mary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking a tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.